And now we have the earth centering chakra. Um, my resource says it's 40 centimeters beneath your feet. So that's like 15.67 inches beneath your feet. The earth centering chakra is about um, connecting you with archaic earth energy. I'm not seeing this as being primordial energy, like that big bang, big bang moment, but this is like those the times of the monoliths that when when um, there were societies, cultures who were building these big things and had access to um, cosmic knowledge that we don't have right now that we that we are working on remembering. That's what it is, because archaic means antiquated or um, old history. Okay, that makes better sense. That feels better to me to look at this. So we are tapping into that wisdom, the knowledge, the cosmic energy, whatever word, phrase suits you, but of the ancients, the ones who weren't, who, the ancient ones who were discovering all the new things about them as they were developing awareness and in, in evolution of society. Okay. So a lot of that knowledge was... Uh, buried for one reason or another in one manner or another so we are looking at reconnecting with that archaic uh, wisdom and bringing it forward because it's still valid and it's still uh, useful to us to know so remembering to go back to your foundations whether it's a, your personal life or uh, of your culture's life or even humanity. Okay. Yeah, they're all sitting over there going, that's the one. Thank you. <sighs> Breathe to be in your body. And surround yourself with the energy of the Merkaba. Those are the two pyramids one upside down, one right side up, and they intersect. It's a three-dimensional Star of David. And the wisdom of the ancients is all around you. What I'm seeing in this moment is one of those um, fast-forward sun movements, how it comes up and goes over and it rises and sets. And you're seeing that um, change in light levels, the clouds going across. I'm back to a time when humans were discovering learning and realizing their connection with the universe, at least with the sun. Cool. The information is not invalid. It still has weight and truth in it. You are connected to Source. You are Source at a different energy level, energy frequency. And every moment you strive to maintain your connection to source, you shift that frequency higher and higher, allowing others to come along with you, shifting their energy. Oh, man.
There is no shame in connecting with the earth again in whatever way best suits you. Look at the stars, follow the sun, follow the planets, the moon, follow the seasons on your earth. And this connection helps you to feel comfortable more in your body. Helps you to establish that connection with the archaic knowledge of your ancestors. They have much to teach you, if not solid knowledge, but also those learn from their mistakes. You are creating your own cycles, you are creating your own traditions, you are creating your own reality. It's all right. This is what evolution is. Creating your reality that shows up in ways that impacts other people. The goal is to impact others for their uplifting, for their enlightenment, for everyone's ascension. You got this. You can do it.